Who's ready to get it started? Everybody. <laughs> yes, Thank you very much. Here we go. Ready? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I like to open with that machif word because if this whole bingo is really about language. It's about hearing that good medicine, the medicine that our words are. And when we have our languages here in the city, we have healing. We have remembering, right? That we are peoples who are worthy of respect and admiration because our languages are all about this land all about how we belong here uh, thousands and thousands of years, right? So every time I hear it, it makes my, my heart feel good. And it doesn't matter if it's a Machef language or Anishinaabe language, Mohawk, Haudenosaunee language, it's all good. <laughs> so you know I'm Carol LeClaire and I am uh, uh, with the Métis Women's Circle. And the Métis Women's Circle uh, is grateful to Canadian Heritage for a grant to be able to conceptualize this project. And we're grateful um, that um, Alice Summers is here. Alice and her daughter Shiloh um, and her daughter Crystal uh, were very much a part of this, this uh, bingo game that we have. Uh, we wouldn't have the words that we do so tied to the Four Seasons without Alice's memories of the language. And she so generously helped us to create this, uh, this wonderful game. And we're doing this so that we can think of words and language and um, pronunciation, meaning, and we note that everything we, we do in these uh, four seasons ties us back to the land and to nature and to the beings, our, we call them our elder brothers and sisters, all the animals that are uh, mentioned in the bingo games. So we're learning, we're drawing in uh, traditional knowledge, even if we're just thinking we're having a game and we're playing for fun. And, uh, and and not for that big video camera at the back, just in case there was any doubt at all, you know? <laughs> now I'd like for Lynn Nicholson, who has uh, played a huge part in uh, creating our cards, I'd like her to, for the, for the uh, video that we have to send to Ottawa, to do a brief description of how she uh, came to develop these, apart from Alice's wonderful contribution, okay? Yeah. Sego, Skonengoagon, Yinjets Lin. That's a formal Mohawk greeting for elders. And if you're approaching an elder, they always like to hear the language. In uh, designing a game to learn language, it's always good if we can place it within a fun component. And so in front of you tonight, you have our summer master list of words as well as your bingo cards. And we encourage you to play two to four cards, depending on your ability, with the language so far. This is our third night of summer. We've had four nights of each season. We're in the southern door tonight, which is the summer season. And the images you see here are images that Alice has chosen, as well as our caller, Ayanna, to interpret what happens at that time of year. And for each image, we sourced, uh, of course, they're all based in nature, and we also tried to get the cultural component in each image. So that's how we can speak to the images, like the stars, the Earth Mother, the medicine wheel. So part of the fun of the game is learning the culture. And we invite you all to share your stories as well with any of the images that trigger memories from your childhood or something from your culture, we would ask you to input. Um, each of the cards 
uh, for the images, each of the cards were put into a bingo generator, which is a software package, and 50 different designs of the cards were created for the game. So each game, fall, winter, spring, summer, has 50 different designs so that everybody's not hollering bingo all at once. <laughs> but I think we've had a good time so far. And uh, I'll ask our caller, our Ojibwe student, Ayana, to come forward and introduce herself. Bojo, Anin, Ayana Nadezhnikaz, Burlington Donjaba, Wabashgeshki Dodem. Hi, I'm Ayana. Um, I'm from Burlington and I'm from the Martin clan. I see a lot of familiar faces here and I'm excited about that and I see some new faces and our guests. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm excited. Um, yeah. I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited about tonight, and I'm really sad that tonight's our second to last night. <laughs> Boo, I want this to continue for so much longer. I'm having so much fun. Right. Um, Please remember that yeah. tonight we're in the it's southern door, so it's the summer <laughs> session. <laughs> so all the phraseology and the words are in the summer uh, direction of the medicine wheel. Okay, so our first word is Bama Daga. Bama Daga. It's swimming. 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 Next word is zagame. Zagame. It's mosquito. Mosquito. The bug's dead. Zagame. I don't even have any zagame. It's a mosquito. Yes. Zagame. Zagame. And it means mosquito. It's probably a blank. So the next word is Zagidawin. Zagidawin. 
It means I love you. Uh, we love each other. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so that was Zagidowin. Zagidowin. And it means we love each other. I'd like to say the word, please. Zagidowin. Can you say the word? I am. Pat? Yeah. Say the word. Zagidowin. Zagidowin. Right. Okay, what does it mean? We love each other. Great. Can you pick our next word? We're not on the Hopefully I have it. <laughs> Which? Let's not have any fun though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next word <clears throat> is Juna Nimmin. Juna Nimmin. How do you spell that? Uh, Z-H-O-O-N-A-I-S-H. Oh, 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 it means warm winds. Warm winds. I don't have any other. I only need two. Warm winds. No, no more Christmas. Warm winds. No more Christmas. We're in summer. So that was Juna Nimmin. And it means warm winds. Warm winds. Okay, so our next word is Mino Gijigan. Mino Gijigan. Mino Gijigan. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so that was Mino Gijigan. Mino Gijigan. And it means good, uh, nice, nice day. Nice day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Well, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> nice day. No nice days here. Oh, oh. Every day is a nice day. <laughs> um, yes, Okay, so the next word is mashkiki. Mashkiki. It means medicine. It's the picture of the pussy willow. With this weather, they should be blooming soon. They grow, they grow in a marshy area usually, the pussy willows, and they can get quite high. And uh, they have the property of salicylic acid in their bark. So that's why they're used for pain and headaches. Uh, they're one of the first uh, spring medicines that come up along with some of the plants that bloom under trees before they foliate. So uh, you have to watch for those. Um, so the next better keep because Yes, yes. It's the inner bark. It actually is the equivalent of aspirin. Aspirin was actually...